your mind is always racing whenever you think of some situation because in your mind, these situations become a problem that would not go away. Many times they won't because God does not step into a covenant without trust. Yes, you heard me right. The only currency with which you seal covenants with God is your absolute and utmost trust. He calls it faith. The Bible describes faith in the book of Hebrews 11, 1, as now faith is confidence in your mood and assurance about what we do not think. Gretchen come. My nephew asked me that's not over. After dinner. Just, just he sorting said, things Dave, out. Dave, would you be a Christian if you were not born into a Christian family? Sorting things it's out. A bit of a problem answer. People's way of not Some giving me bad news. Yes. And he asked me why. At the end of the so day, I, you, I told him. Because Mom's I not trust God. Give me the money for your own place. Child of God. <laughs> I'm just sorting things. If you cannot trust God, you will not see his help. Faith in God requires your confidence in things that you are yet mm -hmm. still hoping for. Thanks. That translates into thanksgiving and an unanswered prayer that you just made. We're still together. It is you telling later. God that I, I don't know anything else, I thought but for I sure trust your judgment. So here's my request. You have to have faith that God has the capacity to work things out in your favor. You're Here, telling me. God. I, you know, I've been so busy lately. I, I really miss hanging out with him. Yeah, me too. Me you know, we should pick a night. Whether it's financial where difficult, we just difficult always get together, no matter what's going on. So it's a week. We just it's do this. difficult to remember okay, like that like God is still at work uh, in us. Here every Thursday night. This is because, night. as humans, it's a day. based on beliefs and what we see, rather than on trust, is God two men hanging out. In trying conditions, having faith can help you find serenity in God's presence. When you're untrue, it can harden your heart with arrogance and cause you to become estranged from God. Learning to surrender all your troubles and challenges oh, yeah. to God the girls are almost here and I'm also going to put a great love. You can put your faith in God. Uh, just finishing up my costume. Many of you are suffering through the most trying times of your lives. But I need you to understand that you can put your faith in God. I'm not going to express things at all Christians oh, right, say. You're I'm not giving you anything I haven't personally experienced. You know, the, the best friend, Many the, the times in my life, I've had to put my faith in God. Fun. I've been in the midst of a fire. Yeah, boy, I'm well aware of the situation. You hey, may put your faith in him, but he is dependable. <laughs> so when it comes to trusting right, God, like that means in his reliability, his word, his ability, his word, his ability and his strength. What the the Bible, Bible says that God words. cannot lie. That he always keeps uh, promises. That he loves you. It has she's good in store really for you. Trusting in him means believing in what he says about himself, about the world, and about you. Now, if Dusty really wants to get lucky, he'll tell you.